UCLA got a big time win over Utah, uh, forty two to thirty two. Now, I talked about this on the Bet US College Football Show last week. I said that my numbers had UCLA favored. I was hesitant. I probably should not have been. Obviously, you know hindsight's always twenty twenty, but I. I looked at that and and thought, man, this is UCLA is a fantastic football team. Like this is a good team. And I just I didn't fully appreciate what it was that that they were doing. You know? I I, I think it had to do with the uh the schedule strength, etc., right? Obviously everybody always talks about that like, ah, yeah, but who have they actually played? And Really, we could have said that about Utah. Like, I don't know why we didn't. Yeah, Utah went up against Florida, but is Florida that good? I mean, that, that's where the questions come in, right? Uh, so going to pull up the stats here, uh, UCLA was, you know, a three-point dog at close. They won yardage 5'11 to 4'79. They won yards per play 8.4 to 6.2. That's what's crazy. I mean, you look at the total plays in this game, and, uh, and UCLA was just efficient. Like, it's just ridiculously efficient. Uh, third downs, UCLA won 56 to 54%, rushing 212 to 192. They won drive points, 28 to 25. Uh, they won turnovers, uh, 2 to 1. They were also 2 to 1 in fourth down failures against Utah. Uh, this looked a lot like the Washington game. UCLA could get what they wanted whenever they wanted to. And here's the scary part for Utah. Uh, if you look on the screen here, Zach Charbonnet. 22 carries for 198 yards. That Those rushing numbers do not happen against Utah. And yet, in this game, absolutely. And he was the only one doing it. They didn't go with the whole stable of backs. Like, Dorian Thompson-Robinson, DTR, was 11 for 17 yards. Zach Charbonnet was the dude. Uh, DTR, by the way, passing. 18 out of 23, 299 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. That ain't bad, y'all. That ain't bad at all. Holy Sal said UCLA is so physical. They really are. At, on the line of scrimmage, they've got some dudes that really want to go whip the guy across from them. You don't see that often. It used to be a staple of a Chip Kelly offense. They took pride in those pancake blocks. They took pride in knocking guys off the line of scrimmage. You hadn't seen it a whole lot. And they got those dudes now. I mean, UCLA looks like a good football team. I was highly impressed. Uh, Cam Rising, 23 out of 32 passing, 287 yards, and one interception. Uh, Tavion Thomas, you know, 91 yards rushing on 18 carries. That ain't bad. That's over five yards a carry. Uh, Cam Rising was able to run the ball quite a bit. He had two rushing touchdowns. But at the end of the day, like, their offense could not keep up with UCLA. It was just mind-blowing to watch. Uh, you look at these stats. By the way, all these uh, stats and whatnot come from statbroadcast.com. GameOnPaper.com, ESPN.com, etc. So if you want to go check them out for yourself, you can do so over there. They are great tools to check out. Uh, the win probability changed very quickly in this one. I mean, UCLA kind of took hold of this game and just held on to it early. And, man, uh, just... The, so, by the way, green is good, purple is bad, right? So neither team had a very good defensive run stuff rate in this one. Uh, but UCLA, their explosive play rate was pretty awesome in this one. 11% of their plays were considered explosive on the day. That's That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.